So welcome to the British Business Podcast. So we're on the road today at the Business Revival Show at the Excel Centre in London. And I'm delighted to have with me my guest at the moment, which is Emma Cohen, Digital Solutions Manager for Raffinger's Accountancy. Yes. Now, I think it's fair to say that every accountant, let's be honest, has an image. There's a persona that goes with it. Yeah. But I know that you and your team are looking to transform that and to change that. Yeah. And the conversation we're going to have today on the show is about that customer experience. Exactly. Great. Yeah, so firstly, thank you for having me on the show. I'm very, very excited to be here. Um, so like you said, accountants, they have an image. Mm. Um, I think when people think of an accountancy firm, they just think about financials and numbers. But yeah. what we're trying to do is we're trying to make an image for ourselves where we're going above and beyond for our clients. Yeah. So when we're talking about client experience, something that we do is we meet every week about a group of around six or seven of us. Mm -hmm. And we sit there and we talk and we talk about the things that we can do to make the experience that our clients currently have a lot better than what we're offering. Good. And as well as that, we're talking about new projects that we can potentially be working on to, okay. to improve the lives of, of us as well. Okay. So, Give us some examples, please, Emma. So an example I would say is the experience that clients receive before a meeting. So it's a very big one that we've been talking about for a while now. Yeah. Obviously, when you're meeting with someone, yep. it's the, the initial stages aren't always thought about because somebody will arrive to your offices, you'll offer them a drink or a coffee, they'll sit down in your meeting room and then that's it, the meeting starts. Yes. What we're trying to do is go above and beyond that. And we're thinking about the ways that we can make it 10 times better for people prior to that stage. Okay. So for example, how do they get to our offices? Where can they park? You know, they don't want to be panicking about what exit to take on, on the yeah. road that they're on. They don't want to panic about trying to find a car space. So we're trying to tackle those obstacles so that from the minute they have basically planned the meeting, they're you know comfortable, they're at ease, they know where they're going, they walk into our office. So you engage with them in that exactly. process earlier. Exactly. Yeah, in preparation for the meeting, yeah. we would just like to point out to you X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Which is good. I like that. Yeah. Yep. So right. we're trying to do things that maybe not all firms would be doing. Yeah. And we're trying to think of ways to basically make the experience overall a lot better. But it's not just for them. I would say it's also for us internally because yeah. we're getting that satisfaction of that good meeting. We're having, they're walking into our offices at ease and happy and glad to see us, which I would hope they always would be. Yeah, um, yeah. But we're also getting that, that relief and that satisfaction that they've made it to offices. They know yeah. where to go. We've got their order. They can pop over to the coffee machine and make a drink or we take their order at reception and say, yeah. do you want a cup of tea, a cup of coffee? And it's just a smooth sailing. Make them at ease there. as much as possible. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Make but we've done some amazing things, I would say, in our group. Like mm -hmm. like I said, we meet every week that we're working on at the moment, agendas to, to take to meetings so that we make sure we're covering all aspects and yep. offering you know, everything we can to our clients. Um, yep. We've introduced like welcome packs for new clients, um, okay. milestone gifts. So it's just making them feel appreciated and aware that you know we are here. And even if we don't speak 24 seven or yep. we only speak once a month, we are thinking of them. Excellent. Okay, well, that's really, really, uh, you know, that's really refreshing. Yeah. Actually, you know, it's really, you know, and new. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's cover a couple more points there then on the on the client because traditionally, you know, firm of accountants, it is about the numbers. Yeah. yeah it is about the numbers. What do the numbers look like? But what else can you offer a client of your business? So I specialize in digital solutions. Yep. So I like to, to think that we are going above and beyond to offer a service where we're making our clients' lives easier. So a bit of information on digital solutions. What I do is I work with businesses of all sizes and all sectors, yep. and I sit with them and analyze their business processes. So it's mainly around financial technology and operational technology. So if I know, for example, that they could be utilizing an area in their business a lot better just by introducing technology, that's where I come in and I try and work with them to make sure that they're comfortable and implementing something that would work for them and their business. Okay, so that, so that you're bridging that gap with regard to that information getting connected with you and the client. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly. anything that can transform that efficiently in terms of the collection of the data yeah. and the numbers yeah. and then obviously the representation. So if you do that more efficiently, also it take less time to do it. Exactly. You know, because I can remember back in my days, you know, an audit for just for my particular business, but the audit was a week. And we, we spent the whole week <laughs> trying to get them out as quickly as we could. Yeah. Because we knew we were paying for that week. <laughs> so again, you can use technology today, 
yeah, to interface and make that whole process much quicker. And it gives their business an advantage because it yep. means that they can simply access everything online, everything that's on the cloud, their yeah. financial data is literally at the click of a button yes. and they can pick up the phone, call us and ask us a question whilst looking at the information at the yeah. event. So we, so, so we call it business intelligence, yes. business insights. So again, the knowledge is power. So the more knowledge and insight you have in your business performance, the better placed you are to adapt, adjust, yeah. Yeah, and, and be able to cope with the environment you're in. Because as we all yeah. know in, in business, it's never a straight road. Yeah. You know, there's going to be a few turns and twists on the journey and maybe even a couple of mountains to overcome. Exactly. But everything that we offer, all of our services, I believe all comes down to client experience. Yeah. And, you know, we have core values that we live by. Yeah. Um, it, they're things that every employee in the firm should live up to or should want to follow. Yeah. And I believe that that is what makes you or us stand out from the crowd and it makes you noticeable because if you're delivering that service to the client that you're working with or the business that you're working with, yeah. they're gonna to wanna to come back for more. Absolutely. And so that's why I love doing what I do. That's why I love offering a digital solutions as yeah. like a department and a service yeah. because it's something that you know not everybody would know about or not everybody would offer, yeah. but it's all about educating and working with the client or the business to, to get them from the bottom to the top. Well, you're, and you're absolutely right, Emma, because it is that that is that customer journey and that yeah. customer experience, and you know, in the and the more pleasant and dare I say enjoyable, yeah, and informative you can make that experience, the more connected you are to the client, so the more likely you are to retain the client. Yeah. So this is you guys thinking outside the box about how can we improve that customer experience for obviously our advantage and our connection with all of our clients. Exactly, and when you are working with businesses every day, there's always new doors that open. You're on the journey with them from the minute you start working with them yeah. to the very end, I would hope. Well, yeah, because obviously in your business, you're not just, you know, we had an example just now, didn't we? We spoke to someone who just covers the dentistry industry. Yeah. And all of his clients are in the dentistry industry. That's great, they specialize, that's fine. But I'm sure that's not the case in yours. No, it's not. We work with all types of businesses, <laughs> all sectors. Big, small. I mean, both yeah, SMEs, yeah. large businesses, startups, yeah. Yeah. you know, self-employed. So yeah, we've got a, a vast majority of different clients. In different but, sectors, different industries. Exactly. Yeah. But you learn, like you, you get yeah. to know people in that industry, you understand what processes work for them, you know, yeah. about their sector. So you tailor your digital solution yeah. to the client exactly. and the client sector that he's in. Exactly. And if they need some help, can they come to you for yeah. some help? It's me. Yeah, I you am know? the main point of contact. Yeah. I deal with everything from implementation to training to yeah. ad hoc questions. So if I was a client of your business, you know, and, a, and maybe let's say a man of my age yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might not be so knowledgeable or comfortable around this social media world yeah. that we live in today. So would you, would you offer that as some help and support to me? I would. So I have worked with businesses in the past who, you know, don't like the idea of adopting technology and I completely get it. You know, yeah. it can be a daunting thing. Like having Well, they will tell you they're a business based on people and they're business based on relationship. Yeah. My whole career has been about people and building relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but now there there is another connection that you have to accept, and I have to accept it that it exists, and it is around this this this, you know, this world of social media. Yeah. But yeah. I am I'm the biggest supporter, you know. If if yeah. people don't like the idea, yeah. I will try my very, very best to be on hand and, yeah. you know, explain the advantages and the benefits of moving from something maybe more manual to something more techy and on the cloud and IT based. Love it. Um but the advantages that come from that are the fact that, let's say, for example, you know, you're a business in an industry where you're working with hundreds of different clients your end yeah. and you want a way to be able to reach out to them to send out for example campaign emails of your latest offering yeah a database a crm system that is what a business like you would need to be yeah. able to target your clients build yeah. those relationships and basically yeah. grow together and you know i really love that emma because your accountant is such an important person in your business yes you know he is one of what you would call your very few trusted partners yeah you know, so therefore you, you would have trust. There would be a relationship. So therefore, when you come as an extension of that and you say, hey, in my example, Stuart, I can help you with your digital you know, footprint, your digital um, solutions, sit down. You're already coming from a hell of a position of strength. 
Yeah. You really, really are. And then obviously everything that you integrate into the company is designed to make that financial process of where we arrive at, whether it's month end or year end, yep. making that whole process as seamless and as efficient as possible. Couldn't agree more. So ultimately, you could try and keep your costs down as well, aren't you? Yeah, no, exactly. That is a very, very big part of it. And yeah. as well as that, like you said, we like to think of ourselves as a trusted advisor for businesses. Yeah. We're not just accountants. We are relationships. Yeah. You know, we, we've built that from, yeah. from something. You get to know yeah. the person you're working with. Yeah. And there is a running joke at ours to say that we're sometimes like therapists because yeah. clients will come in and they'll oh. moan about the latest tax bill or the problem they've got. Yes. And we like to believe that we're there to, to listen to them and yeah. tackle those obstacles that they have got. Yeah. You moan at your accountant exactly. about everything. Exactly. So we are technically <laughs> like therapists, which we love. We do not mind it at all. Um, yeah. But yeah, you, you build relationships with, yeah. with clients and with businesses yeah. that you work with, which is why first and foremost, client experience is yeah. the most important thing to us. Perfect. I can see it. Do you know, there is an image uh, and we've been a little bit unkind really because there was an old you know, back in the day, there was an old image of what an accountant looked like. And, yes. you know, you could see them in the street, you would point them out in the street. But we know that's all gone now. Yeah. Oh, and it's it a very modern industry. It's a very progressive industry. And companies like Raffingers are leading the way in that digital transformation to take the clients on that journey with them. Exactly. Yeah, I'll tell you, that is so refreshing. I mean, I joined Raffingers at a very young age. I would probably say I was just turning 20. I've been there yeah. now for seven years. Yeah. Um, and when I started, I was not the person that I am now. Yeah. And I feel like I've gained a lot of confidence purely from being in yeah. this client experience group, from doing what I do. Yeah. But it's now not just such a male dominated industry. Like you say, yeah. when you think of accountants, you might think of a, of a male, you know, yeah. because that is the usual image, yeah. but it's not so male based anymore. It's, yeah. you know, females are now also dominating the corporate and the accountancy industry, which I love. Yes. Um, so I do think that has changed the game a lot. Yeah, and I, and I think also the message there is about digital transformation is not just sat behind a desk. Yeah. You know, you go out and speak to people. Yeah. You visit your clients, you learn. You you understand their their business, their industry, their systems, their procedures, and how you can interface that financial connection to bring greater efficiency to the client. And that's exactly what it wants to. I tell you what, I wish you were around in my day. <laughs> It'd have made life so much easier for me. <laughs> Honestly, I would have loved to have been. I, it's what I love to do. So I can see that. Yeah. Emma, thank you so thank much. You. I really, really enjoyed that. And I think that's a really informative one as well. So thank you so thank much for your you time for today. Me. Yeah, you're very thank welcome. You. So I think you'll all find and agree that's a really, really refreshing customer experience. So thank you very much. This is me from the British Business Podcast at the Business Revival Show in London. Goodbye.